Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter two talking about mobile application test types and continuing ahead with the part two of 2.2, testing for app interaction with the device softwares. In order to continue ahead, the next thing we are talking about is testing for different types of apps. Of course, you do have different types of app which interact with the system software and they need certain uh, kind of utilizations from the resources which you have in order to make sure that they work appropriately. Now, specific test types can definitely be performed depending on the type of mobile app. Of course, mobile apps are of different types, which you covered in the chapter one. They can be of native apps, can be hybrid apps, or can also be a browser-based app, which is also called as web app. Now, of course, there are certain specific test conditions to be designed in order to test them. So the following test conditions must be considered in order to test. First, for native apps, device compatibility, utilization of device features. Number one thing, of course, the device compatibility, not all the apps are compatible for different types of devices. So whatever you are targeting, you have selected a set of mobile phones on devices, which you're targeting as your target devices must be considered in order to meet the compatibility-ness. At the same time, utilization of the device features which are inbuilt within the devices, if your app has to interact with those features like camera, microphone, or probably like Bluetooth and lot many other things, should be taken into account in order to test them. The second thing is for the hybrid apps. Now for the hybrid apps, as they work on both things like the browser as well as the app, now interaction of the app with the device native features, which includes all the features which you have within the devices, including the hardware and the software, but here we are talking about only softwares, Potential performance issues due to the abstraction layers, because if you go to the web app, of course the things will be different and you may have a you know abstraction layer to pass through, so that can definitely impact your performance. And usability, which includes look and feel compared to the native apps on the platform in question. So of course, depending on the platform, so of course you have iPhones, you have a different navigation option, Android, you do have a navigation option there, which are different from each other. So they must be tested in order to have a look and feel test also, which includes user friendliness. And we talk about usability testing to be covered in that as well. Coming to the web apps, testing to determine cross-browser compatibility of the app to various common mobile browsers. We generally goes with, as we talk about the web apps, the browser does matter. And you wanna make sure that all the trending browsers, which are basically being used today by the devices should be uh, having the compatibility with your app or other way around, your app should have compatibility with those browsers. Functionality is not impacted due to the various JavaScript engines which will be running in order to control the security or probably making sure that you enter the valid set of information. Utilization of operating system features, example, date picker, and opening appropriate keyboards, which should be definitely going as per the app interaction, and the browser should be able to pick up those information from the device interaction and give you the convenience of using that. Usability is of course a constraint here as well, as we talk about the hybrid apps, does the web apps also have this uh, to be tested in order to make sure that if they meet all the expectations from the user friendliness point of view or not. Further adding value, testing for interoperability with multiple platforms and operating system versions. Now, of course, you may not be sometime creating an app only for a particular platform like Android or iOS. Sometime you create an app for multiple platforms and you want them to be tested for that. Now, software companies often support app on multiple operating system. Each mobile operating system has its own limitation, which needs to be taken into account when testing the apps. Testers must be aware of the specifics of each platform tested to ensure the app works as intended, whilst still confirming to the look and feel of the platform as well. So it's making sure that the platform should not become a constraint when you work with uh, Android, when you work with iOS at the same time with the similar app, there must not be certain differences in terms of interacting with the system, performing certain functionality or usability as well. Now there are following test conditions which can definitely be considered or created in order to test them. 
handling of interrupts, notifications, and optimizations for energy saving. So we have already covered more about interrupts in our previous tutorials. You can just relate to this. Correct functionality, functionality where multiple platform application share some code or have been created using cross-platform development frameworks. Note that if the application do not share code, then it is like testing two different application and everything needs to be tested once again. So you generally do not create two different applications in order to meet two different platforms expectations. So you just have certain uh, code sharing, which basically allows you to, uh, you know, interact with different platforms and get installed and start working on it. Otherwise, you definitely land up creating two different apps or uniquely creating them right from the scratch. And of course, you have to test everything in both of them. Testing for backward compatibility if a platform uses different operating system versions, which is like in terms of like the backward compatibility of the platform, which means that if it is reverted to a previous version, then the app should also migrate to that. And that should allow you to do any sort of changes uh, based on the platform updates or uh, removal of the updates of the operating system as well. Testing new or change features made to the platform. For example, in Android, the introduction of the Do's framework it required testing on the various versions of the operating system which supports this framework and those that don't. Now, what is Do's framework, first of all? So Do's mode is exactly as its name suggests. If the user leaves the device unplugged for a period of time and the screen is off, then the device will enter into a do's mode, which is basically the system attempts to conserve battery by restricting apps from accessing the network and intensive CPU utilization services. So in case your app gets into those do's mode and your Android or any devices, uh, sorry, Android devices, uh, supports the do's mode, then of course you need to see that when you wake up from the sleep, or not you, basically the phone, when you wake the phone up from the sleep, does the data or interaction makes any changes or does this really requires you to do some uh, initialization or probably like setting up certain things. So we just wanna make sure that uh, testing all these new changes which are done to the platform and your system or your app is adaptable to such changes or not. Finally, talking about testing for interoperability and coexistence with other apps on the device. You may definitely have uh, applications which are with, you know, with the same behavior. For example, you may have multiple wallets to make payments at different points. Because when you go shopping, not everyone accepts Paytm or maybe you know, Amazon Pay or Google Pay. So you may have more of them or maybe all of them. So, coexistence basically goes with you should not be conflicting with similar type of other applications from different vendors. So though all of them do the same job as making money transfer or uh, storing money in the wallet and they do have similar functionality. So you should not fight with each other saying that, okay, remove this guy before I get installed or something. No coexistence issues should happen. So you want to test that. So it is quite common for apps to interact with each other when installed on a device. Typical examples are the contact and email app. Now the following test conditions must be considered. For example, data transfer between the system and the test and the utilized app is correct. There is no harm done to any user data stored within a utilized app. For example, uh, I, I try to make payments using Paytm on my Airtel app. Now this, this is where I try to try to exchange data between that and uh, log into Airtel app and make the payment of my bill phones using Paytm or maybe MobiQuick or probably any other option. So this time when I try to interact and make changes, there should not be any sort of data losses while doing that interaction. Conflicting behaviors, which we just discussed about in detail that two similar applications should not have conflict and we just wanna make sure that they work together. So with millions of app in the market, coexistence cannot realistically be tested for all of them. Nevertheless, such potential issues should be considered and tested according to their risk. So we do agree that at any point of time, you may have n number of uh, you know, similar type of applications, but not all of them can be tested at any point of time. So just consider the risk areas, consider the important part of it, and then make sure that you find everything at this uh, environment where you can just make sure that uh, you know, those uh, interactions which are related to risk should be considered and tested. 
Well, that was all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.